cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling This guy merchant. gives me happy mass salesman Make vibes. No mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I am offering X100. Well, at least we know Olgiad is a monster. Like no because other, a Lannister always pays his debts. Mm. Few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. Okay, then. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell, too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn. Gaunt as a rail, his shirt moth eaten, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Uh, okay. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgird owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. So what? He owes you, you owe, he owes you like his soul or something? Oh, what? This business? It's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please hear me out. You shall see Olgird as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. Okay. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we share. Somehow I doubt that. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet we won't know what they are until we see him. Okay, I don't like this, but okay. Uh, all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree. 
agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see all ears. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. You do have me there. Fine, I'll go see all geared with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. How much chat currency to choose the next dialogue choice? Ha <laughs> ha! You think I'll spare you the suffering of my poor decision making? <laughs> Not on your life. <laughs> nah, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna suffer. And you're gonna like it. All right, uh, real quick, let's pop over to some of our merchant buddies and sell a bunch of crap, and then we'll go advance this. Winds howling. What your mom said last night. Your kind spreads disease. The beat is another threat. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's see. You don't want to fix my decisions. Do you want to make them even worse? All right, that, that's fair. Why? Okay, can I stop running into walls? Uh, this way, I think. Now you. Oh. Greetings, Ibia. Greetings, girl. Listen. Buy my shit. It's kind of too bad that we don't get to go all the way to, uh, the place they're talking about. I think that kind of would have been fun. So long. All right. Hey there, handsome. that we don't have a side quest or anything to go see our alchemist friend. Pets can be a huge cost. Yeah, hell yeah, they can. Ah. Well, that's not good. Well, look who's here. The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Why is the house on fire? Growth on your platter there. You got some kind of a theory, Pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! But you kill me now! I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Uh, yeah, I disagree. Whoa, nerves a little raw. Why? You deaf. Get the fuck out of here, freak. All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. 
Well, you're not gonna know. Sod off. I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him. Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. Uh. Yeah, you... Why don't y'all like tone it down like 80%? Wait. I know Ogeard wants him dead. Still don't know why though. Just what the fuck is it? Are you anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. Is that the dude who grabbed the... Is that the dude who grabbed the girl's ass earlier? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not no! been there? You killed my father! Not I. You lie, Horson! That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused his hospitality. Holy shit! The chivalry code. He was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Oh, so he's not mortal at all. <laughs> he's like, can somebody? All right. Wow. Where were we? That's not good. Where's my buddy? Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh. Show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it. All right, all. so this guy's super slaneshy. The tricks to plow through that moment, go further, reach beyond what's known as possible. That is like, that is hardcore, like tenants of slanesh. You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I have my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Yeah, well, it's your fault that I have to deal with him in the first place. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything's left to chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. There he is. Dr. Odin. Gunter. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. Uh, yeah, did you know? Is that true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. You what? Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Orgeard once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the crown prince of Ophir. Orgeard grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. 
by your hand. Remind me, O oh demon. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. All right, so Gaunter, man, Gaunter comes out, big, comes off big Call time like a. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. I feel like there's more to this guy. Like everything we're seeing about him right now is giving huge red flags that he's a huge bastard. Um, but I feel like there's something more to him. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the base dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I doubt yeah, that. I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethiri mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Kind? What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ethiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. <laughs> wow, this... Uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Okay. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am no, I right? I've never played Witcher 3 yes. before. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. Well, I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Okay, this guy probably certainly needs to die. Man, we're getting I'm getting like hardcore uh, tasks of Hercules. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Interesting. All right. Any hints where I should go, how I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Okay. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. This guy definitely seems like one of the worst kind of immortals. The kind that get bored. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Hello, you. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me 
you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. I generally feel all immortals will get bored eventually. I don't think so, actually. I think the only type of immortals that would get bored are immortals who seek satisfaction through sensation. Like, instead of finding uh, joy in, like, the smaller things or finding the joy in, like, interaction with other creatures and or people, I think if it, I think it depends on how you find joy, how you find uh, interest in life. If all you do is desire sensation and like you constantly have to experience excitement or new things, then yeah, sure, immortality will get boring. But if you're like me, like I genuinely think I could be immortal and never get bored. Cause I'm like, I am eternally entertained by people. And I have a very easy time uh, empathizing with people's excitement. Uh, let's see. What about the house? Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring in that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Do I get excited about you? Uh, I get excited whenever we throw you into the snake pit, so, like, technically, yes. You could not deal with the filth of humanity that long? <laughs> feel like you need to get out and meet better people. Imagine meeting millions of people who all seem alike. I mean, I've met lots of people and I've never met two human that seem to even be remotely similar. My grandpa just turned 98 and his health is failing. His memory is going, he's outlived my grandma, all his siblings, all a lot of his friends. I don't want to live to be 90, let alone immortal. That's fair, Fryman 80s. I think, I mean, presumably with immortality, you'd get to avoid the whole like, uh, health is failing and hopefully memory is going aspect. I mean, if your memory is going, it means your brain's deteriorating, which means you're probably dying, at least in some form of a sense. Without immortality, then yeah, no, you know, getting old kind of sucks. <laughs> if you don't have a way to alleviate the pains of aging, then, uh, you know. There's really no good to it, huh? Still be tough to keep living all friends and family die around me. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, but I don't know. To me, I don't see death or I don't see people that I love dying as like a reason to not want to be alive anymore or like not want to experience building relationships with new people. I don't know. Like I always like I like death is sad, but for me, it's not an aching eternal pain like it's it's a it's a comforting reminder of the people that i know and i love but that's not gonna stop that's not gonna slow me down from carrying on and building new things but i i have met many people who death is truly like it is significantly harder on them you know, when they lose someone close to them, it it really feels like a part of them dies with that person. But um, I have never felt that way about it. Once read a fantasy story about a race of humans who are immortal but continue to age like regular humans, so they were lich priests. <laughs> I was gonna say, Tomb King lich priests, they got the shitty form of immortality. So they're immortal in that they will not die of natural causes, but they still age which is why they're desiccated uh, husks that are all withered and shamble around. Um, very powerful individuals, but uh, yeah, definitely not, not, the, not the good way to have immortality. Olgierd's brother, why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. 
That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Okie dokie, let's get it. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Yay. Say I need help. Where will I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. This man just casually collects blood. Well, he's definitely not a man. He is... He definitely seems to be some kind of entity. Um... Alright, so let's do... Let's do the auction house first. And we'll we'll quick save before we start it to make sure to see how much money we need. My bad. Yeah, we'll we'll read the new character entries in a moment. Where you think you're going, Mucker? Uh, excuse you. Why do you even care? You're in the military operations zone, and our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Fifty gold. On principle, I don't want to pay them. So I'm sticking to my principles. Not about to give you a copper. Told you. A spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. Radovid's dead. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witcher'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. <laughs> I catch you extorting coin again. You'll go straight to the front, the Eastern Front. And you, Witcher. Best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. There we go. Watch your step. That's a good captain. Fuck. Uh, I like that man. He's got principles. It's done. It's done. It's raining. Of Maybe course. it's true what the witch has prepared a It is raining like crazy. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Uh. Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. Vatslav! This bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. <laughs> Not a thing. I like this guy. Somewhere. There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission guard the auction house. Priority high. Top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Dude, Private Kleiner is obviously hilarious. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. 
Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Uh, 